Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Much like every working phone has a phone number associated with it, every working device that's on the internet has an IP address associated with it, and we've touched upon this before. We had a user on YouTube whose handle I just cannot begin to pronounce ask a question of the difference between a static IP versus a dynamic IP. Uh, a static IP is typically assigned to business uh, level users or business class corporate environments uh, and this is an IP address that's assigned to a machine or a certain part of the network that never changes. A dynamic IP address is a, an IP address that constantly changes. So for instance if you're still on dial-up or if you're like me and you can barely remember dial-up or you want to forget about the days that you were on dial-up you would connect and then disconnect from the internet using your modem. And when you did this, every time you connected, you would be assigned a different IP address from your ISP or your internet service provider. And in this sense, your IP address would be different every time you logged on to the internet. Well, uh, now if you're like me and on a, well, I'm on a cable connection, you might have a DSL connection, your ISP may have assigned you a static IP address, an IP address that will never change, or if it does, it's going to be very, very rare. Uh, then uh, I, I can go as far as to tell you that I have been assigned a dynamic IP address or a non-static IP address on Comcast here in Washington State, but uh, in the, about a year, it's never changed. So for me, that's as good as a static IP address. Now the advantage of having a static or dynamic IP address comes into play when you want to connect to things on your home network uh, that you couldn't easily connect to if you didn't know what IP address your home network has. For instance, I've uh, talked about and showed you my Slingbox application, and if you want to dig up the video on the Slingbox, I'm sure you know how to get to it. I've definitely raved about it before. Uh, I would need to know if I had, let's say, one of my computers uh, halfway across the world, if I wanted to connect to my Slingbox at home, I would need to know my home network's IP address. And since I have a generally static IP address, I would know where to go to every single time. If my home network or my internet connection here had a dynamic IP address, well, that could change from day to day, hour to hour, week to week, who knows? It's a dynamic IP address, constantly changing. Uh, I had a dynamic IP address with my Clearwire account. It drove me up the freaking wall. And lucky for me, Jason, or Lord Cat, as he's known in the chat room, just recently moved to the Seattle area, and I'm lending him my Clearwire connection. And he's happy as a clam. I don't really know what that means because I've never really met a happy clam. Every time I've met a clam, I've either been slurping them down or just watching some... Anyway, so uh, the differences between the two is, well, think about it. Static never changes and dynamic always changes. That's the difference. Which one do you want? Well, I say whichever one you can afford. Uh, if you want uh, to have uh, all these applications like a Slingbox application or uh, some type of... Uh, um, thing at home that you wanted to get to all the time, uh, you would need or want, desire a static IP address. Of course, if you have a dynamic IP address and there's no way around that, you may look into dynamic DNS services. And uh, we'll have to div, div, I'm thinking HTML, we'll have to dive into that at a later date for another video. If uh, you have any further questions about IP addresses, I'm sure we've already answered about 47 of them because it seems like we answer a different IP address question or question related to it every single week. God, this is my life. I'm staying up here past midnight to answer questions about IP addresses. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, make it stop. I don't want to pee anymore. I pee. If you want to see me break down again, you're welcome to join us anytime, day or night in the chat room. We're always there at a static URL, live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.